I got my feeler gauges out and the spec in the service manual says that it's supposed to be 0.1 millimeters and uh, that transfers to 0.004 inches or 0.102 millimeters is what I've got on my uh, feeler gauge here is the closest one I got and that one will not fit in there but the next closest one down 0.03 inches it's in there fine and it's the same for the bottom one so we'll these do need adjusting and we'll adjust them by socket on here and just get it loose okay and we'll put our 0.102 millimeters or 0.04 inch thing in there and we'll loosen that just a little bit there's not much that I adjusted that very little I would say not even not even an eighth of a turn on that adjusting screw we'll lock that down we'll double check it Feels good to me. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Just rotated that out just a little bit. Okay, just gonna finger tight this, this nut, making sure that the uh, adjustment doesn't move, and then lock that down. Get it semi tight, double check it. And it's too tight, so I got to uh, loosen that one back up. This in here seems to be proving to be a little bit more difficult. Maybe it's just the angle because there's a, there's a bad angle. You got to get that thing in there. That's good. I do believe. I'm going to go out from the bottom, double check that. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll lock it down. Double check it again. Good. That's good. 
Okay, to make sure that I uh, didn't adjust them, open them up too much, I'm putting a five and see if I can get a five in there. And I can't on that one. I can't on that one either. Nope, so should be good there. So double check those, make sure that they are tight. And we'll put everything back together. Oh, one thing I am going to do too is uh, the service manual set to turn over the engine couple times with the uh, 14 millimeter nut on the stator here get her back to top dead center again and then double check your measurements just to make sure everything is uh, kosher job done I gotta get it on top dead center my T is lined up Double check, my big hole is there, my two smaller holes are vertical, which is good, and then I'll come back and measure again, just to make sure after turning it over, everything's kosher. That's good. Get a four in there. Let me check for a five. Five gets stopped. And a five gets stopped there. So these valves should be adjusted. Put everything back together. We'll start her up and see how she goes. So essentially they were a little tight. They were at 0.003, uh, somewhere around in there. And I adjusted them to 0 0.004 inches or 0.1 uh, millimeters. Okay, we'll get the cover back on. We'll put the bolts out in position on the scooter of where they go. Put this cover back on. Just gonna tab these two on real quick here, just to hold it. Finger tight. Get those close, not. Uh, Actually touching. Okay, I'm lock these down. Finger tight. Diagonal pattern. Do not have a torque wrench. Uh, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be torqued to, but this is an aluminum. Just still, I feel a little tension. down these two silver ones to that vent pipe. Double 
double check everything again. Okay, that looks good. Reattach your two vent pipes. One on the top routes underneath this bar, this crossbar. I think it's pretty good. Um, feeling pretty good about this. We'll get the front center cover back on, battery box cover, and the met box, and uh, we'll start it up, see how she sounds.